In today's video, I've got five facts about Beatrice from the series ReZero slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Beatrice's bio, abilities in the anime, her voice actors, history, and more. Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And for more weekly anime character facts videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the facts. Today's video is sponsored by Kakao Games, a developer of a next-gen MMORPG called Black Desert Online. This is a buy-to-play game where you won't need to pay for DLC and updates once you buy it. To put simply, buy once, play forever, and all future updates are free. Even better, you have a 7-day trial of the game before you decide to purchase. A download link will be in the video description. Black Desert Online has one of the best next-gen graphics of any MMORPG games, as well as the best combat system currently available in its field, giving you an immersive, skill-based action combat experience. When you enter the game, you will have to choose from 19 different classes. Every class is of course good in its own way. Once you choose your class, you'll get Get into a character creating interface. It's amazingly developed and beautifully detailed. You can change almost everything and create the perfect character, each with their own unique skills and abilities for you to explore and adventure through Black Desert Online's amazingly detailed open world in crisp HD graphics with no loading screens at all. Added good news is that the new season servers are open for three months. Unlike the regular servers, you're getting easy leveling with plus 100% combat and plus 20% skill XP. There is no forced P PvP and the world boss health is shared with other regular servers. Receive more items with different events available for the season servers and once the three months are up, season server players will receive a graduation cap and emoticon as well as a high ranked item as a graduation gift. As well as this, Black Desert Online have recently improved their game packs for better value too. The link to download the game is in the video description below. Make sure you guys use that link to download or buy the game and like I mentioned earlier, it's a free seven day trial for every viewer. Noise. Beatrice is one of the side characters of the ReZero series. She is the caretaker of the library at the Roswell Mansion. Beatrice made her debut in episode 4 of the anime and chapter 0 of the manga. Her birthday is unknown as the author has said that her birthday is actually a spoiler, but we do know that she is over 400 years old, though she has the appearance of a 12 year old. Beatrice is an artificial spirit who stands at 4 foot 7, which is 139.7 centimeters. She has a pale skin tone, her hair is, you know, for me, definitely her standout feature. It's long, cream in colour and worn tied in twin drill tails, with pink bows and a small crown on her right side. The interesting thing about Beatrice is the phrase that describes her appearance is that it is set. This means that even if she tried to change her hairstyle, it would revert straight back to those drills, much to ours and Subaru's amusement. Her eyes are blue with pink butterfly patterns in the center. Now, attire-wise, Beatrice wears a dark pink frilled dress with pink ribbons, pink and purple striped tights, and pink shoes. Personality-wise, Beatrice is a legend, isn't she? For me, it is her personality that stands out and adds a welcome sprinkle of humor to the series, but anyway, she has this brat-like personality in which she openly looks down upon others and Truth be told, she does struggle when it comes to others as she is bad at dealing with people. Beneath her crude looks and stubbornness, Beatrice is actually a very lonely person and we see this after her guard completely drops when she shows affection to Puck. This affection for Puck isn't because of his fluffiness but because she relates to him and there are many similarities between them that has earned her favour above anyone else in the Roswell mansion and when I say similarities, I mean more than you think. Now, my most favorite thing about Beatrice is her verbal tick, where she adds Kashira, or I suppose, at the end of the majority of her sentences. Don't know why, it just resonates with me. Beatrice's Japanese voice actor is Arai Satomi. She has voiced other characters such as Kuroko Shirai in A Certain Scientific Railgun, Sayako Shinozaki from Code Geass, Shiro Yasha in Problem Children, Atomi Saotomi from Shimaneta, and more. Beatrice's English voice actor is Kira Buckland. She has voiced other characters such as Yuri Jahad in Tower of God, Rishia from Shield Hero, Kuroyuki Hime in Axel World, Ayumi Otosaka from Charlotte, and more. 
In terms of abilities, Beatrice is a master in yin magic. She is capable of casting spells that people had long forgotten. Now, there is of course zero comparison between her and Subaru. Beatrice is just miles ahead. She can of course cast the same Shamak spell as Subaru, in which a person is unable to sense where they are, but are able to feel the ground and sense what is happening to their body. Unlike Subaru, Beatrice can use different forms of Shamak, where a person becomes unable to control their own body, cast an even stronger version of the original Shamak, where her target loses all of their senses, and can even cast a Shamak spell that sends its target to another dimension. As we know, she is the library caretaker. In such, she can cast teleportation and manipulation spells such as door crossing in which she can connect the door of the library to any door that she chooses. She can also cast a spell called Infinite Corridor in which she can create a special loop in which the target will wander a repeating hallway until they find the right door. Next up we have Murak in which Beatrice can manipulate gravity. Even the lightest of jumps would be like a person jumping as if they had springs attached to their feet, and if Beatrice so wished, she could actually fly, though she would end up getting blown around like a leaf in the wind. Beatrice can create crystallized mana spikes covered in purple flames that are strong enough to penetrate most offenses. This is called Minya. She can also send multiples of these spikes into the air that will fly into different directions that will find and rip her target apart. As we know, Beatrice has decursification in which she can detect and remove curses. Going hand in hand with this is healing magic in which Beatrice can summon water mana to heal the wounds of herself or others. And just as she can heal, Beatrice also has mana drain. Kind of self-explanatory, but she can absorb the mana from any target she touches. Next up, we're going to look into Beatrice's backstory. It's pretty short, but in able to do so, there will be spoilers. Most people that have read through the arcs probably know this, but if you've only watched the anime, then definite spoilers. 400 years ago, Beatrice was created by Echidna. I hope that was the right pronunciation. Who knows? She is the Witch of Greed who will transfer her soul into Louis Mayer and rename herself Omega. Beatrice was created alongside Louis Mayer and they both referred to and respected Echidna as their own mother. Beatrice used to help Echidna with her experiments in things such as the Sanctuary Barrier. Though she helped with these experiments, Beatrice was never actually told the full story of what would happen to Louis, which was that they were to be sealed in a crystal. Later on down the road, Echidna ordered Beatrice to stand guard over the library and wait for that person. Any guesses whom? But thanks for watching this my video, five facts about Beatrice from the series ReZero. Let me know in the comments who you would like to see next. Of course, I want to give a huge shout out to Warwick, Animator22, Rem, and Akumu for supporting me on Patreon. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Come hang out with me on Twitch and Discord during the weekdays and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs, peace! Nani